let's start with a typical planet, like Earth. Anything that orbits a planet is called a satellite. And satellites can either be natural or artificial. Natural satellites, like our moon, are ones that aren't man-made. Whereas artificial satellites are those that are man-made. And they include the satellites that we use for communication and other things like orbiting telescopes. If we zoom out, we're now looking at the entire solar system. So Earth is just one of eight planets that orbit our central star, which we call the Sun. You don't need to remember the order, but the planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And all of them orbit the Sun in a slightly elliptical orbit which means that the path they take isn't a perfect circle. It's as though it's been slightly squashed. Two other structures to know about are asteroids and comets. They're both pretty similar, but asteroids are mostly made of rock and metal, and are found mainly in the asteroid belt, which is between Mars and Jupiter. Whereas comets are made mostly of ice and dust, and although they do orbit the Sun, they have much more elliptical orbits, and often travel to the very outskirts of the solar system. If we zoom out again, we get to the level of a galaxy, which in our case would be the Milky Way galaxy. Galaxies are massive collections of billions of stars, most of which have their own solar systems. For example, our solar system is just a super tiny speck about halfway along one of the Milky Way's spiral arms. The force holding all the stars together is gravity. And they all spin around the middle in the same way that planets orbit the Sun. Zooming out one more time would get us to the level of the universe, which is scattered with galaxies. Just like galaxies themselves though, the universe is mostly empty space, with unimaginable distances between adjacent galaxies. So to recap, the universe is a vast expanse of mostly empty space scattered with galaxies, which themselves are collections of billions of stars, many of which have their own solar systems. And solar systems consist of a central star orbited by planets like Earth, which themselves can be orbited by satellites like the Moon. Anyways, that's everything for this video. So hope that all made sense and was helpful, and we'll see you again soon.